crossing the river Historically it has been seen that traditional settlements were located on one bank of the river and in order to boost trade and exchanges enhance connection to other parts of the country by crossing the river became an important part in growth of the cities Earlier people used rafts to transport larger goods and commodities and ferries to transport people from one bank to another with evolution of technology construction of bridges became an important milestone in history one of the first styles of the bridges constructed was stone beam bridges during mauryan era which could be dated back to 8th century ancient bridges found in zila kamrup in assam were built using massive stone columns which date back to 9th century The bridges at Shiva Samudram were built in 14th century and can still be seen. They followed principles of Indian architecture which resembles horizontal forms, deliberately ignoring the arch and display great originality using support of stone pillars and piers of solid masonry. The construction of bridges in earlier times as well as today are more than a specimen of construction and evolution of technologies. The bridges and their histories are found in various anecdotal evidences that has shaped them. Pune is one of the historic cities that has its own share in the glorious history of Indian subcontinent. It has Mutha River flowing from the west and Mula River from the north which joins towards the eastern limits of the city and flow as Mula Mutha. The oldest crossing over Mutha is the Kumbhar Ves Dharan or Potter's Gate Causeway in Kasba Ward. It is said that the first bridge of Pune was built in wood when the Maratha army returned to Pune after they lost the battle of Panipat in the year 1761. It is ambiguous that whether it was decaying of the old wooden bridge or new emerging technologies which led to reconstruction of these old bridges. In spite of multiple reconstructions of the bridge in stone and refurbishing after the 1961 floods in Pune it is still called as lakri pul to remember the legacy of the old bridge the present bridge which still exists consists of 9 48 feet arches built on stone piers which has features designed to take care of impacts caused by the floods the stone piers have sharp fronts to break the force of water and large round holes were made high up on the spandrels between the arches for water to pass through The next bridge over Mutha was constructed between Pune and Kharki called the Holkar Bridge. It was built by Madhurao Peshwa. It was named Holkar Bridge because Holkars were accustomed to pitch their tents in this vicinity. The 498 feet long and 16 feet wide broad bridge is supported by 19 arches of varying sizes. The side protections of the bridge were constructed in teak and carried on corbels against the face of the spandrels of the arches to leave the full width of the bridge clear for traffic the next and chief bridge over mutha is the wellesley bridge named after general arthur wellesley in honor of his deccan victories the old bridge was built in 1830 entirely of wood in 1839 it was replaced by a strong masonry bridge and after getting decayed and unsafe a new bridge was constructed in 1875 out of stone at a cost of rupees 1 lakh 10930 as the growth in railway sector and proximity to bombay increased the first railway bridge of pune was built in 1857 this bridge spanned 728 feet and 32 feet wide over the mula river which is supported over 20 segmental arches each 13 feet wide the bridge is constructed in stone and lime mortar and was used as a railway bridge till 1926 until a new railway bridge was built adjacent to it and the stone bridge was converted into vehicular bridge during the 17th century the need of connecting to another important settlement known as ahmednagar was strongly felt by the british government and in year 1869 fitzgerald bridge was constructed located ahead of the confluence of mula and mutha river the fitzgerald bridge 
was the first semi-elliptical arch bridge constructed in Pune city. It is designed and constructed by Captain Robert S. Selin of Royal Engineers and is named after the governor of Bombay at that time, Sir William Robert Fitzgerald. In early month of 1920, the construction of Nawapul, now known as Shivaji Bridge, was finished by the Public Works Department. The Nawapul connected the new city to the old city in front of the Delhi Gate of Shaniwarwara. The bridge was designed by Lieutenant Colonel E.S. Prose, who was then the Chief Engineer and Secretary to Public Works Department. The bridge was initially named as Lloyd's Bridge after the company that executed the work. The bridge was constructed in coarse masonry in basalt rock. It is 1,210 feet long and 37 and a half feet wide, having one pointed arch in center and four segmental arches on one side and five segmental arches on other. During the colonial era, apart from these bridges, there were many small bridges built over Nagzari stream which flowed through the city. Post-independence, there has been construction of various bridges such as Yashwant Rao Chavan Bridge, Mahatre Bridge, Raja Ram Bridge, Bhede Bridge, Kadgil Bridge, SM Joshi Bridge, etc. These bridges demonstrated needs of more connections across the river and changes in technology. One of the recent bridges that has been added in the vicinity of Pune city is the Sant Tukaram Maharaj Bridge. Constructed as an arch bridge that spans over Pona River, it showcases the arrival of modern technology of bridge construction in India. From the modern bridges of 8th century to the linking seas through Bandra Valley Sea Link and ongoing construction of world's highest railway bridge on Chenab River, spanning of rivers has always been a challenging task.